It's not only certain breeds of dogs that can suddenly become fashionable. Remember the popularity for micro pigs not so long ago? Jenny Byrne was captivated by it. But did she do her homework properly? Goodness me. <laughs> They're enormous. Janie, nice, nice to meet you. The basic concept. So you walk in and you shut the door. So you just walked home. That's it. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's go on with it then, yeah? yeah? Do a few, go on. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's off. Listen, do you remember what we Come said up. about? Let's not get the no, pillow. No, no, quickly, Let's get a quickly. Yeah, this is one second. Three, two, one, action! Sophie and I. Doctors at the Royal Marsden Hospital are getting ready to operate with the help of this robot surgeon. Can we have head up? Can we angle the table? The doctor in charge is Amir Khan. So guys, can we get some instruments in? Nick, just have a look at uh, the view, the fantastic view we get. It's an amazing image, isn't it? It feels like you've got inside the body. It's not literally doing the operation on its own. None of the is that easy to identify. Here at the MRAO in Cambridge, telescopes like these peer deeper and deeper into space, producing ever more detailed information about what's out there in our universe. And they're uncovering new clues about a very different kind of invisible matter. One that dwarfs ordinary matter in mass and seems to shape how the whole of the cosmos is held together. I'm talking about the mystery of dark matter. But it seems it was another tragedy just three years after his lover died, which saw depression really take hold of George. And that was the death of his beloved mother, Leslie. George was devoted to his mother and she was to him. She was a delightful, charming, sunny person and an optimist and somebody who saw life in a good way. It affected him obviously very badly. To lose the two people he was closest to, <laughs> unbearable. It was such a dark period of my life, losing a love. The modern world now teems with computers. They're everywhere, often hidden as miniaturized microchips. If we don't take them totally for granted, we certainly aren't surprised that they can do so much more than simple number crunching. Ada had seen this, the extraordinary flexibility of computers, nearly 200 years ago. It would have been quite something, a Victorian information age with hardware driven by steam and software with the power to unpick the fabric of reality, dreamt up by Ada Lovelace.